Let's look at the second part of this exam style question. I'm going to focus on part B. Introduction to the question provides us with this information. Let's start by reading it. In patients with Parkinson's disease, the nerves in the brain deteriorate, leading to the patient being unable to control shaking and coordination. Therapeutic cloning is potentially a treatment for this disease. Scientists have been experimenting with creating new nerve cells in mice that were created from cloned human cells. And part B says, suggest why this method of therapeutic cloning could cure Parkinson's. And we have two marks for that question. Let's start by looking at the command word in the question. I can see that the command word is right at the beginning, the word suggest. The command word suggest means that you're expected to apply your knowledge and understanding to a new situation. So you probably have not learnt about Parkinson's in any detail or the treatment of Parkinson's, but you need to use what you have learnt and apply it to the context outlined in the question. Now, let's look at other information provided in this question and see what might help us answer it. The first sentence gives us an outline of Parkinson's up here. And what's important here is that it's a disease that affects nerve cells. And nerve cells are a type of differentiated cell. Now, this second sentence here introduces an important term. The first couple of words here, therapeutic cloning. Now, this is a term you should have covered when you learnt about stem cells. Therapeutic cloning is the process used to create new embryonic stem cells that are able to differentiate into different types of cell. If you're having any difficulty recalling details of therapeutic cloning, it's probably a good idea just to quickly refer back to the chapter on stem cells and refresh your memory. Now, at this point, I'm just going to make a note about that in the margin just to remind me about what therapeutic cloning is. So just put an arrow and I'm just going to write produces embryonic stem cells. And the key thing here is that they are undifferentiated cells. Oops, I'm just going to write that undifferentiated. So actually, those cells could become nerve cells. And that's quite important in answering this question because Parkinson's is a disease that affects the nerve cells. So if we could produce these stem cells and they could then become new nerve cells, that could be a form of treatment. So let's have a go at putting this into an answer. So I'm going to start by saying... Right, the new embryonic stem cells made in the mice can differentiate, it's important to use scientific terminology here, differentiate into any type of cell. These could be new nerve cells. So they could help treat Parkinson's. OK, now let's have a quick look at where the marks would be picked up. So the first mark would be for saying that the new embryonic cells, cells made in the mice that can differentiate into any type of cell. So that's what this sentence is saying. That's worth one mark. OK, so I'll just put a one there. And then the second sentence saying that those new cells 
could be used or be could become new nerve cells so they could treat Parkinson's is your second mark. So there's your total of two marks.